In this video, I'll show you how to reduce Excel file size without deleting data. Save a copy of this Excel file before trying to do that. So you can see here it is 12,032 KB. Now I'm keeping a copy of it and save. Both the files are 12,032 KB. Now we are going to reduce the Excel file size. Now the first step is to compress picture size in Excel. Select the picture, then go to picture format. Select on compress under adjust. Then here you have different option to compress to reduce the picture format. Suppose I want to print, I can keep 220 ppi for my best result. And if you want to make it small or crop that you can do that. Now what is the alternative method so that always my picture will be compressed and I don't have to worry about it. To do that you have to go to file, click on more click on options then click on advance then scroll down so you have image size and quality so here make sure you take discard editing data and here don't compress image file you can reduce your ppi to make it small and to reduce your size then click ok my second step is to remove blank sheets rows and columns suppose you have some unnecessary sheets then you can remove that and if you have some unnecessary empty rows or columns, you can remove that. So how to identify whether you have empty rows or not? If you press Ctrl plus down arrow and you double check, you don't have any data after row number 20. But if I see my ruler, I can see lot of space after this. It means there are so many empty spaces or unnecessary data in my file. So you always remove those data to save the file or while copying or pasting from external source make sure you copy only the relevant informations rather than copying the entire sheet to avoid size issue now i'm going to select Control shift down arrow Control shift down arrow two times if it is more data then Control minus so that all my unnecessary data if i copy it from some other file it will be removed similarly if you go to the right side of your column and if you have anything, control shift down arrow, control shift right arrow, control minus. So that you remove all the unnecessary columns. Third step is to remove conditional formatting and other formats. So how I can remove the conditional formatting? Go to your home tab. Under conditional formatting, scroll down. You have clear rules and you have option clear rule from entire sheet. Now you can click on that to so enter conditional formatting will be removed how to remove other formats in your excel you go to your home tab in the right hand side under editing you have clear format option clear all means entire data will be removed but we don't want to delete the data we want to clear the formatting if you click on clear format so whatever wherever you have selected the clear format will be applicable so here my all formatting got removed now the fourth step is to remove complex formulas or all formulas in Excel. Try to keep the simple formulas rather than keeping complex formulas such as if error, indirect formulas or so many complex formulas. If you have those formulas then it is going to take lot of space and it is going to take lot of time in calculation of your Excel file. So how we can remove that? I can copy the entire data and I can pay special value. If you remove all the formulas, what will happen? The file size will be reduced drastically and it will be very small. The fifth step is to avoid multiple pivot tables. In case you don't want to avoid the pivot tables and you want to keep it, then change the refresh setting so that it will reduce the file size. So how to change the refresh setting? You click anywhere in your pivot table, then go to pivot table analyzer, click on pivot table, click on option or Simply right click and go to pivot table option. Then under data, you have to make sure your save source data with file is unticked. And the last refresh data when opening the file is ticked and click on OK. Before jumping to the last step, let's save the file and check the file size. F12 copy after reducing size and save. So now if you go to your folder where you have saved, you can see the file size difference. So before it was 12,000 KB, now it is around 1,000 KB. 
Now the sixth and last step is save Excel file in compressed format. So you have different option to save as such as Excel 97, 2003 workbook format, binary format, workbook format, CSV format, and while sending, always compress or zipped folder to reduce the size. We'll go one by one and we'll check the size and we'll see what is the best for us. Let's say I'm going to save in the Excel 97 format. Now go to your F12. You can press the shortcut as F12. Now here in the drop down, you can select excel 97 2003 workbook and here i'm just renaming that file to identify excel 97 2003 and click on save now it will ask one pop-up dialog box asking for microsoft excel compatibility checker and you can check and continue now let's save in the binary format and check the file size go to f12 Save as type, select Excel binary workbook. Then here rename the file binary and save. Now let's go and check the file size. So when we start, the file size was 12032 KB. And when we tried step 1 to step 5, it was 1387 KB. When we saved in the 97 2003 format, it was 78 KB. When you saved in the binary format, it is 875 KB. Now the last option is CSV format, which is the best option. I want to save in the simple text format without any format, without any formula. Then the best option is CSV comma delimited. So let's see how the file size is. Press F12 to get the save as dialog box. Then select CSV comma delimited. Rename the file as csv and click on save to save only the active seed click ok to save all seeds save them individually using a different file name for each it means when you save in the csv format you can save only one seed at a time and click on ok now let's go and check the file size in all the formats if you check here file size under csv format is just 1 kb now the last option is compress in zipped folder if you compress in the zipped folder again it will reduce to minimum kbs for example i want to reduce the 78 the 97 which is the best for me i can go right click and click on send to compress zip folder and you can see here it is just 17 kb and if i compress this csv file if i go to send and compress zip folder it is still 1 KB. So we have learned how to reduce 12,000 KB to 1,000 KB and less than 100 KB then less than 20 KB at the end 1 KB. So this is how you can reduce the Excel file size without deleting your data. If you are watching the video for the first time, please subscribe our channel to get notifications for new videos. And if you like the video, like and share. And if you have any question or suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.